20 seconds to comply. I saw on the broadcast news, ABC, last night, there was a guy talking about Trump's plan. They want to deport everyone that's in this country that's not born here. People with a green card. This is from every country. They want it all 100% American. Isn't America the great melting pot? Huh? Everybody says, that's what our founding fathers want. And, well, live up to it. Don't be so greedy and selfish. They really don't like non-white people. They're afraid of them because, like, when you have cancer or when you need dental work that you can't afford in the USA, where do you go? You go to Mexico and they fix it. You got cancer, you go to Mexico and they fix it. Well, if the people can't come up from Mexico, you're not going to be able to go there. They want to limit international travel or make the the visas and passports so expensive you can't travel abroad you can't you now as it is now you cannot just pick up and move to a country just because you're an american and you're freedom no they won't they don't want you they don't want americans messing up their country, like I don't want the people from Facebook messing up all the other 22 social media sites I use. <laughs> but uh, think about that. And black people. Black people have to unite and join against Trump. He doesn't like you. He wants to put you back into the slavery mode. You know, it seems like it's fine for black people to be athletes in sports so they can go and be entertained and bet on them. But really, professional sports is nothing more than modern-day slavery. You, you don't have control of your life. If they want to trade you, they trade you. We you want to sell your contract to another team, they do it, and you have to move. What's the difference in that and slavery in the old days? Money. They give you money so it makes it all better, right? It's still slavery. How many black team owners are there? I ask you that question. Tell me. Come on, man. You've worked too hard for too long and being beat down by the white man to let this happen. So, Warriors against Trump. Let's do it in November. Vote for Kamala Harris. You know, really. They're, they want to pattern the new white Christian thing, which is full of baloney. Trump is not a... Trump is a Christian? No, he even puts down the Bible. He uses it to make money. He's exactly the kind of guy that Jesus was against. And the black ministers that they are they go they're going ballistic on YouTube and they have huge churches. So we gotta join together and beat Trump. It can happen. My friend that works in Washington DC told me, yes, there are all these executive powers that you can exercise, but nobody does because they're unethical. Since when is Trump ethical? Big question mark. Never. He does it for himself, and he's doing it to get out of trouble. There's, there's more lawsuits and criminal charges coming down the pike. The two 11-year-olds who claim that he raped them on Epstein Island when they were 11, they're coming out. It's going to be uh, another... Uh, poop show so you really gotta get behind this you guys and Mexicans they're okay to clean your house and watch your kids but what happened I mean George Bush allowed the Mexicans to come in work and go home no big deal 
We didn't need passports to go to Canada or Mexico before 9-11. The guys that were behind 9-11 are probably laughing. So vote Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz in the fall. You won't regret it, but you will regret it if Trump takes over. 